Okay, so here we are in part four. Now part four is kind of cool here with this your turn because now we're gonna expand the learning even more. And in, in, in part three of this lesson, we were running the line follow program that when we press the right button, it did a line follow. So let's go ahead and run that here again just so you can see that I know you have that at, at your place as well. And we notice here that it's pretty wobbly, right? So. What we want to do now is they want us to run the calibration programs. And that's these next three. So if you kind of scroll down here to the next part, and I'm actually going to get this up here. There we go. I'm going to zoom out just a bit. All right. So now what it's going to do is it's given us some calibration. Um, this is so important, so, so important, and a really valuable skill to learn and teach as well. So this first one here is showing that when we press the up button, it's going to calibrate the maximum reflected light intensity. Um, so you want to put this, you want to run this program on the brightest or the lightest surface it might encounter. So in my case, it's definitely this white here that the robot's sitting on. So if I go ahead and set that here uh, where you can see, and now when I have the program running and I press up, it's going to capture that and it's, you're going to hear a beep. That lets me know that that's been calibrated. And now if I go through and move this now to the reflected light intensity to the minimum threshold. And so this is where I want to place this sensor on the black line itself as you can see here, and I'm gonna go ahead and press the down sense button. And so we've got that, all right? And then what we wanna do, what it's asking us to do here, um, to go ahead and run our line file program again. Now, anytime we need to recalibrate, they've given us the center button to reset the calibration. So we just ran the original line follow. Let's go now ahead and run this again, pressing the right button, and let's see now that it's calibrated how this robot looks. So I don't know if you can see the difference or feel the difference on your own, but there's here's one. Okay, and then if I run it again, and I run it without it calibrated, I don't know if you can see much difference there. So think about this here. Why would this be an important skill? We can't just assume that everywhere we take our robot, it's going to be exactly the same, correct? So I don't want to give you much more information than that, but let's have some conversation. Why is this important that we would have some conditional programming stacks to allow us to make sure our robot can run effectively as possible, regardless of where we use the robot? So once you have an understanding of that, you've kind of sampled around this, play around with steps three and four here a little bit. And then when you are ready, let's move on to part five, which is going to be your challenge. And this is going to be a whole lot of fun. So when you're ready, I'll see you on the next step. Peace.